Hello, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. I was not able to upload any videos during the last few weeks because I was really busy. Before I move on, I would like to gladly inform you that I have received this silver play button from YouTube after completing 1 lakh subscribers. As you are all aware, it's a milestone in YouTube. I am really really thankful to all my subscribers for this achievement because without your support this wouldn't be possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to it and also recommend my channel to your friends. In this channel, I basically deal with drafting and 3D modeling using AutoCAD software which is an industry standard software for 2D drafting and 3D visualization. In this video, I deal with the procedure to create a presentation by combining the 2D drawing and 3D rendered image. I use AutoCAD software for 2D drafting as well as for 3D modeling. And I use 3ds Max software for rendering and visualization. And I use Adobe Photoshop software to combine the images. So all these things and more is coming up, so stay tuned. Let's see the procedure to create this presentation drawing in which we have the AutoCAD drawing as well as the rendered image kept in the same sheet. I have an AutoCAD drawing of a sofa here. Now I have to convert this drawing into an image. For that I am going to plot this drawing to a PDF file. So I'll click on the application button, print, continue to plot to a single sheet. Then I'll take a plotter as AutoCAD PDF high quality print. And then I'll choose a paper size of A3 so that I can either plot A4 or to A3. And I'll select A3 sheet, then center the plot. Then the area to be plotted, I'm going to choose using a window like this. Now you can just preview the plot. And I'll change the orientation to landscape so that you will get maximum utilization of the paper. Then I'll give OK to take a PDF plot of this file. And I'll keep it on the desktop. And I'll name that file as Sofa. And save. Now I have created a PDF version of that drawing. I have also created a simple 3D model of the Sofa if you are not familiar with AutoCAD 3D modeling, please go through my tutorial videos on Introduction to AutoCAD 3D Part 1, 2 and 3. I have provided links at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. Now I have imported that AutoCAD 3D model to 3ds Max software which is an industry standard 3D modeling, rendering and animation software. If you are not familiar with the procedure to import an AutoCAD 3D file to 3ds Max, please go through my tutorial on this procedure. I have provided links at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. After importing the AutoCAD 3D model, I have created cameras and lights. Then I have also assigned finishes to this 3D model. I have assigned the fabric finish as well as the wooden finish here. If you are not familiar with all these procedures, you may enroll my basic course in 3ds Max. I have provided the links at the upper right corner as well as at the description section of this video. Now I am going to render this 3D model. For that I will go to a render setup dialog box then I have to choose a proper resolution. So I will select HDTV and I can either stick to this full HD resolution or I can go for a higher resolution. That is I will give a 4K resolution which is 3840 by 2160. Then I'll click on render. Now this is a rendered model. Now I'm going to save this file. So click on the save icon at the upper left corner. Then I'm going to choose a file format which is Targa. So I'll click on Targa file. Then I'll keep the Targa file on the desktop and I'll give the file name as Sofa image. And I'll click on save. And here you have to choose 32 bit as the bit depth of this image. Now click on OK. 
Hence, I have created two image files. One is a PDF file from AutoCAD drawing. Another one is a Targa image from 3ds Max after rendering. Now, I am going to open Adobe Photoshop software. Now, I will go to File, New. Then I'll give a file name. I'll call it a sofa. Then I'll select international paper and I'll choose the paper size as A3 and I'll give OK. So this is an A3 size sheet. Now I'll open the PDF file first. I'll select sofa.pdf and I'll give OK. Now the file is opened. I'll press Ctrl A to select the entire image and Ctrl C to copy the image. And I'll come back to the blank sheet. Then I'll press Ctrl V to paste it here. Now this drawing has gone outside the sheet. So I'll press Ctrl T to scale it. While scaling, just hold on the shift key of the keyboard to scale it without affecting the aspect ratio. Now you can place it in a convenient location. Next I'll open the rendered image. That is the Targa file. Then I'll go to select load selection and alpha is the selection which is already prepared by the software which is the entire image file except that black area. So just give OK and press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Ctrl C here to copy the image to the clipboard and Ctrl V here. OK, I have placed it. Now you can come to image adjustments levels. And you can increase the brightness by moving the slider in the right side towards the left. Now you can see that the brightness is increased and you can move the left slider slightly towards the right side to increase the contrast. Now we have got a proper exposure for this image. Next I'll create a border around this image. So I'll activate the background layer. Then I'll click on the rectangular selection tool. Then I'll pick a point somewhere over here. Then I drag my mouse all the way to the lower right corner. Next I'll go to edit and stroke and I'll give a stroke of 10 pixels and the stroke color I'll select from this sofa itself. So I'll click on this particular color. So you can see it here and I'll give OK and OK. Now you can see the stroke effect which is like a border. Next, I have to give a title. So I'll click on the text tool. Then I'll click over here. Now you can choose a suitable font. I have chosen Proxima Nova Bold. And I'll type Sofa Presentation. And I'll drag it to a convenient location on the sheet. Now you have to save this as a JPEG file. So I'll click on File, Save As. And then I'll choose the desktop and I'll choose JPEG as the file format. Sofa is already there. So I'll click on save. Then I can choose a proper compression. I'll select maximum quality because I don't want to compromise in the quality. So you'll get a reasonable compression and very good quality. And I'll give OK. So this is a JPEG file which you have created just now. I'll press F5 function key to give a full screen presentation. You may visit my website sabircat.com and click here to download the tutorial files and you can click on the sofa presentation image and you can access all the files required to try this tutorial. You may also visit sabircad.teachable.com and click on learn to make 3D photorealistic views using AutoCAD and you can learn the basics of 3ds Max. You can also learn complete AutoCAD 3D project based along with 3D Max in this course. You can apply the coupon code SAB50 and you can get this course for 50% discount. I have provided links at the comment box. Hope this video was informative and you really enjoyed watching it. Before I sign off, I once again urge you to subscribe to my channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and recommend my channel to your friends. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic, Bye bye and take care. May God bless you all.